Hi there. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you're 62 and older, you may be considering claiming your Social Security benefit. But before you do, consider these seven guidelines before making any decisions. Number one, the higher earning spouse. They should delay if possible. For married couples, it's important to understand that the higher earning spouse's benefit is for two lifetimes. In married couples, they can maximize the higher earning spouse's benefit by claiming that benefit at the age of 70. This not only maximizes the income to the higher earning spouse, but also to the surviving spouse after death. In our calculators, they show that a maximum earner who lives to age 85 or whose spouse lives that long will receive $238,000 more in lifetime benefits by claiming at 70 versus 62. Number two, if you are needing income now, the lower earning spouse's benefit, it can be claimed early. And as long as the higher earning spouse's benefit is being maximized, early claiming reductions to the lower earning spouse's benefit really shouldn't be too significant. Number three, the earnings test. It will apply before full retirement age. And this is how the earnings test works. If you are under full retirement age and work, $1 in benefits will be withheld for every $2 earned over the annual threshold. For 2020, that threshold is $18,240 but this can change from year to year. In the first year of application, there is a monthly threshold that applies. And that monthly threshold, this amount for 2020 is $1,520. So if you earn less than that amount each month after starting benefits, no benefits will be withheld, regardless of how much you earned earlier in the year. Number four, don't worry about the earnings test. And, and I wouldn't let this discourage you from working. Here's why. Let's say you apply for Social Security and then later have an opportunity to go back to work while you're still under full retirement age. Yes, your benefit will be withheld if you go over that threshold, but then it's recomputed when you, when you turn full retirement age. So you're really not losing any benefits. Number five, applications. They can be withdrawn during the first 12 months. So if you start Social Security to meet your, your immediate income needs and then return to work within 12 months, you can withdraw your application and repay benefits. And when you do that, you're essentially starting over. Number six, benefits can be suspended at full retirement age. So let's say you, you go back to work, but you don't want to withdraw and repay. Once you are over full retirement age, you can suspend your benefit and build 8% annual delayed credits to age 70. This gives a maximum earner more than $110,000 in additional lifetime benefits if you live, live to age 85. But please take note that the spousal benefit cannot be paid while a benefit is in suspension, and this does not apply to divorce spouse benefits. Number seven, the primary insurance amount. It may be affected by lack of earnings. The primary insurance amount is the benefit amount that's shown on the Social Security statement at your full retirement age. It presumes continued earnings until claiming age. So if you stop working before then, your actual primary insurance amount will be lower than the amount shown on the statement. And the exact amount, uh, the exact reductions, it, it, it will depend on your earnings record, but usually this runs around $100 to $200 per month. Hey, that's it for now. I hope you learned something. If you would like a personalized social security scenario report that's specifically tailored to your situation, shoot me an email or give me a call. It's always better to make an informed decision and it never really hurts to get a second opinion. Hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more on finances, investing, and retirement. Thanks for watching.